Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Now today in this video I will try and show you some tips on how to have a big house with a small budget because I'm getting a lot of requests for it in my comment section so I want to try and help you out just a little bit with this one. Now let's start with the first tip and the first tip I would give you is not to just build a box but build with a lot of different nooks and like little places that people can go to instead of having this shape I would go for something like this so you you can just create some shapes with it I don't know like let this come out just a little bit like so and then maybe on the side so we can make a garage here or something like this maybe this is a little too big so I'm gonna undo that I'm just gonna draw a little bit like this I, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing honestly I just want to try and show you some some tips but hey there we go so having this instead of a box is already a lot better now the second tip I'm actually gonna change this so I have some room for my garage to go in here uh, just gonna do a lot a little shape like this as well so I don't end up with just a box then another tip I can give you is making a fake second floor honestly so what you do is you create your second floor you just pay for uh for the walls basically and you add in some windows but then in the curtains you do add in like blueish color into the curtains so that people think you have a second floor but you don't actually have one and your house looks already bigger if you if you just do that so let's just finish this up then the third tip I would give you is not to build too wide to the back so the front matters if you want to have a big house and you want to make it look big just make the front very very large like so I'm just gonna add in another little shape and then I'm gonna continue and I'm just gonna make it four wide honestly and I'm gonna just drag it to the back like this and in the back I actually just gave you guys a tip that I don't want to make it so that it looks like a box and now I'm doing this so I uh, kind of want to go over it too quickly maybe but uh I need to I need to follow my own tips <laughs> that, that's basically what I mean um, so yeah I'm just gonna close this one off here and then I'm gonna continue with the second floor but the second floor is gonna be a fake floor so we're actually not going to use that but I am gonna have to go on it to close the curtains on the windows I created so let's just finish this one off over here and there we go our second floor is already done so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna exit build mode and I'm gonna go back into it and there's money flowing from my screen there we go I, I got my daily reward <laughs> um, and I'm gonna remove this little piece of wall I got going on over here just gonna add in a cheap garage over here so I can have a car inside my house garages can be really big if you want to build on a budget uh, because they they do take up a lot of space but they're, they're usually like the cheapest space to build in basically so um, I, I I'm just gonna create this entire thing as a as a garage then the next thing I'm gonna do you just don't want to have a normal flat roof or something because that also make the house smaller you want to have a lot of different textures in your roof so I'm just gonna see what it looks like like this and I don't like what I see so I'm just gonna create a custom roof I'm gonna create a roof that goes from here to here like so and then I just want to fill up all these little uh, things I made just to create another basic shape to the house did I actually do something wrong no I, I didn't do something wrong okay and then I just want to finish this off by closing this and then over here I don't quite know what I want to do here I think it's gonna be a little too big for what I want to do oh no it's actually quite okay okay there we go and the house looks quite big but it's very narrow but that doesn't really matter it's it's the front you want to go for it but I do admit making it for a wide might have been a little wrong of me so I'm just gonna create another uh, thing here or I'm just gonna remove this part I'm actually gonna go back in build mode no I don't want to go into the basement because people cannot see the basement and if you do want a big house like this you actually don't want to end up having a basement you know so um, I'm just gonna exit build mode for a little bit so I can remove this piece of wall that I made over here so I want the site to look a little bigger than it actually is gonna remove the roof for a second here yes I am making it more expensive than I should have but I, I made it 
tiny mistake, but you can just uh, copy what I do, I guess, but without the mistakes. Then we go back creating our roof shape. That was a little lag over there. And there we go. We have our roof created and it looks a little bigger from the side just because we cut it off right here. And then the next thing I want to do is create windows. I'm not going to use the large windows because then people can look inside and you don't want to have that feeling of people being able to look inside because that makes your house smaller as well. So I'm just going to use uh, these windows, this is going to be the front door, so I'm not going to put a window here. And then going up, I'm going to use this window. So I just need to add in a door. I'm actually not going to paint since I'm not on windows and I can't quick paint. So that's going to take a very long while for me to actually paint something. If you're on tablet as well, I suggest taking a lot of time for, uh, for painting. But I am going to paint the roof and just some walls so you can see what I want to do. I might actually paint it, but I'm just not going to record it. Oh my goodness, what is going on with me? I need to focus. I need to concentrate. <laughs> um, so for the roof, I'm gonna pick this new pattern. I really like it. I wanna have a darkish roof just for the sides of it. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet. Probably brick or something. Don't wanna have it too dark. So I'm gonna go with the hurricane gray. And then for the roof, I wanna have it white like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint these in the hurricane gray brick color. So I just need to find it. And then I'm gonna do something else for the in-between parts. So it looks a little bigger as well. Okay, I did finish up painting these sections. I'm not gonna paint the back because that is gonna take way too much time and I'm actually not gonna live in this house because I don't really like to live in big houses, but I'm doing this video for you guys so uh, so you can have a big house without the actual cost of living in a big house. So I'm gonna pick another texture for the walls that go here. So I'm, I think I'm gonna go with the wooden one. I'm just gonna paint it white. Okay, there we go. And then for the garage part, I'm gonna do another type of texture. Just to make it look a little bit bigger, I'm just gonna have to look and see what I want. Kind of maybe the, the stone ones, or will that be too much? I think that will be a little too much. So I'm, I think I'm gonna go with this. No, this is not, this is not nice, so I'm not gonna do that one. <laughs> Okay, I found the texture I want to use. I just need to find a nice color for it. I think I'm gonna go with these, uh, this flint color because it's quite dark and it adds more texture to the house. So I'm just gonna paint the roof as well. So let me find the rocks I picked and then the flint color, of course. Okay, so flint might be a little too dark, but I'm just gonna keep it for now because uh, I, I don't know, I, I just, I wanna keep it, okay. Uh, <laughs> then we're gonna just create some shape on the floor. So I wanna have some space that goes to the door and then also the garage part. We need to have like a little curvature in here that connect it to the part where you walk up to the door. No, this is, this is not nice. Okay, something, something like this maybe or, or something like this. Something like this and I'm gonna move the garage just a little bit and I'm gonna connect this part as well. Just for the part we have left over here, I'm gonna add in some nice trees I wanna have like this just to create more texture in the front so people actually think that I'm having a mansion. Okay, and then we need some other texture for the floor over here. And what I usually do is I pick these stones because I just like them. And there we go. We have our start of our mansion. Then I'm just gonna have to remove this wall and this wall over here. So we got our entrance and then we just need to divide up rooms. So this is gonna be the main entrance that leads to the back, I guess. And then this is gonna be the kitchen over here. This is gonna be the living room. Then we also need some space for a bedroom and a bathroom. I'm actually not gonna go too much into detail of what I wanna build because that's up to you for the inside. So this is gonna be a bedroom part and then this is gonna be a bathroom over here. And then this is gonna be the way to the garage. And then you just need to build a kitchen over here. So I'm just gonna place some counters to what I would do. So basic counter, I'm just gonna keep it cheap. You can always paint it in a nice color, of course. And then maybe a little island you create over here. And then you want a table as well. So I'm just gonna pick the cheapest table I can find. I'm gonna place it over here, maybe like into the kitchen island a little bit so I can like have it connected. Okay, let me just place that like so. And then just some chairs we're gonna put underneath. This would be our kitchen and then this would be our living room. So for the living room, well, you know what a living room is. So this is gonna be our bedroom. 
I might have made it just one bit too small. Let's see how it looks. Okay, you can actually fit a bed in here, so that's nice. And then I want some stairs to go to the top floor as well, just to be able to uh, close all the curtains I will put on the windows. And then I'm gonna go to the second floor and gonna add in curtains. And I either want them in a bluish color or just black so people can't actually look inside. I think I'm gonna go for black this time. Um, but I don't know which one is which, so I'm just gonna paint both. I'm just gonna copy the color I used over here. Okay, now I finish this off. I need to create a floor that goes on to the second part or, or the second floor, that's what I meant. And I don't want to include the stairs because I want to be able to go on top of this. And then what I want to do is create some lights. I, I'm just gonna go for the cheapest ceiling light. Just so it looks like there's rooms upstairs and it's not just dark. So you, you have that where you look outside and you just see the first floor being lit up and then the second floor is not lit up. So it's definitely obvious that you have a fake second floor and we don't want to have that. So I'm just gonna create this, gonna add in some lights over here, gonna add some lights here. And then we just need to fill up the rooms with lights. And then of course I need to have doors as well. I don't want doors with glass in it because that also makes like it makes it harder to look big so you want to divide all the rooms up just a door to the bathroom as well and then over here to the bedroom and then we also want to go into the garage and i made a little mistake over here <laughs> i have a floating uh floor part so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna close off this part and i'm actually just gonna fill it because i'm gonna keep on making mistakes i guess <laughs> Okay, this is way better. Now I'm just gonna remove this wall over here so I can climb up. And what we wanna do now is we wanna go out of a build mode. We wanna go inside and we wanna go up to the second floor. So let me find where I actually put the stairs. I think the garage is over here. Yes, there we go. And now we're on the fake second floor. I'm just gonna close off the curtains. There we go. And now I just need to go back outside. And there we go. Our fake second floor is already made as well. Now what's the value of the house? The value of this house is only 17,000. So you could always make it. So it's only 40,000 for a big house like this. You don't even need to make your backyard. It looks really big and we actually only used a little bit of the space. So that's really nice to have. And I hope these tips helped you out to make a big house with a small budget. I know it's not very detailed or very good, I just wanted to show you some tips on how to make a big house like this and not have a big budget like most people. Anyways, thank you guys so so much for watching, hit that like button and please subscribe.